If you guys are new here, my name's Jared Majors. If you guys are new here, my name's Jared Majors. If you guys are new here, my name's Jared Majors. If you guys are new here, my name's Jared Majors. Tell me high up, yeah. The cloud nine, tell me how do I fly up? I gotta be the best. I know this morning my luck. My worst nightmare, waking up knowing I'm stuck. Uh, my training thoughts save my life for uh, track. Uh, yeah, too salty that I had to take all that. But now I'm seasoned. Man, and the reason is flying. I'm about to pop like the grease when it's frying. Elevated my mind. We celebrating the times I'm Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a zoom through sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro. But before we get into that, I just want to thank you guys. We are about to be at a thousand subscribers within the next couple days. I think we're about like 30 off. But yeah, we're about to be at a thousand subscribers. So I just wanted to give you guys a big shout out and thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Like this is really big for me and I just want to let you know that I appreciate all the comments that you guys leave on all my videos. It really means a lot to me guys and yeah, so enough of that. Let's get right into the tutorial. So with this effect, it's really easy to do. Uh, I'm going to walk you guys through it step by step. Uh, I'm going to stop talking now and yeah, let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, these are the clips we're going to be working with today. So the first clip is just my opening shot. And then all these little clips in the middle are just our kind of supporting clips. These are the ones we're gonna be actually zooming through to get us to our ending shot. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come to that first little clip in the front. So all we're gonna do is open this up, go to the first frame of that clip, and I'm gonna press shift and then the forward arrow key. And what this does is it jumps five frames. And I'm gonna do this to all the clips. Five frames is kind of the sweet spot I found when doing this zoom through effect. All right, so now that I have all these frames in the middle, I'm going to open this up a little bit. And now what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna be adding keyframes, guys. That's all it is. So we're gonna come to the first clip right here and we're gonna come up to the left hand side and we're gonna hit that stopwatch for scale. And we're gonna leave it at 100 and then we're gonna come back down and we're gonna move to the, uh, towards the end of that clip and we're gonna uh, turn the scale up to 200. And now that you could see that it's at 200, you can see it created a little keyframe. We're gonna grab that keyframe and drag it to the end of that clip so that it is zooming through the entirety of that clip. And we're gonna do this to all the clips uh, that are five frames. So 100, change it to 200, grab the keyframe and drag it to the end. And then we're just gonna continue doing this. All right, now that that's done, this is what it looks like. Right here, you guys could probably stop and it'll look just fine. So it zooms through all of them. It's super quick and it looks really, really cool, especially if you add sound effects. But yeah, you guys could totally stop here. But if you wanna make it look a little bit better, I'm gonna show you what you guys have to do. So right here, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna highlight all these clips here. And then I'm gonna right click on them. And then once I right click on them, I'm gonna come up to the top and I'm gonna to go to replace with After Effects composition. You don't have to do this step, but it does make your clips look a lot better and a little bit more natural. Once you're in After Effects, all you're gonna do is come to the left hand side and we're gonna turn on the motion blur for all these clips. So click all these boxes here, then you're gonna come up here and make sure it's turned on for the entire composition. And then once you jump back into Premiere Pro, you're gonna see that all your little clips turn pink. And that just means that it's replaced with the After Effects composition. And now you can see that there's a lot of motion blur for these clips and it looks a lot more smooth and fluid. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to go down there and hit that big thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. I just wanna give a big shout out to all the subscribers and I will see you guys next week. I'm out. Whoa.